Hi guys! In this video, we're going to be asking, what is crude oil? Before looking at how we can make crude oil useful. We'll finish off the video with a summary. Crude oil is an important source of useful substances for use in the chemical industry and as fuels. It is what is known as a fossil fuel and is obtained from the ground at an oil rig. Crude oil is known as a fossil fuel because it's made out of fossils. High temperatures and pressures under the surface of the earth have turned the remains of dead animals and plants into crude oil in a process that takes millions of years. The fossils that make up crude oil are ancient and comprised mainly of plankton. These are exposed to high temperatures and pressures and broken down over millions of years in order to form the black oil that we know as crude oil. Crude oil takes millions of years to reform, and this is why it's considered to be a finite resource. In our lifetimes, we're not forming any new crude oil, but we are using it up. So the amount of crude oil that's available is constantly decreasing. It takes too many years to reform to be considered renewable. Crude oil is a mixture of lots of different organic molecules, specifically hydrocarbons, which are molecules made out of just carbon and hydrogen. Out of the possible hydrocarbons, the ones most likely to be found in crude oil are alkanes. Alkanes are hydrocarbons that only contain single bonds between carbon atoms. An example of a few different alkanes are drawn on this slide. And all of these will be present within crude oil. The important point is that crude oil isn't just one type of molecule, it's a mixture. These different alkanes will have different properties, and therefore they'll have different uses. We want to be able to separate these different alkanes out from the crude oil mixture, where the mixture is the natural form that we get out of the ground. For example, petrol, diesel and paraffin are all separate components of crude oil. And while these are all fuels, they have different uses. We want to use petrol and diesel to fuel a car, but paraffin for a lamp. The crude oil mixture is separable because of the different physical properties of the different alkanes that make up the mixture. Alkanes will have different boiling points to each other because of their different lengths. Longer alkane chains will have greater contact with other molecules. This leads to a greater intermolecular force of attraction between the molecules that make up the alkane. As the molecules need to be separated in order for a substance to boil from a liquid to a gas, the larger the intermolecular forces experienced by an alkane chain, the more energy that is needed to break these chains apart. If more energy is required for a substance to boil, the substance will have a higher boiling point, and this is why longer alkane chains will have higher boiling points. We can see this in this graph here, which has the number of carbon atoms within an alkane on the x-axis, and the boiling point in degrees Celsius on the y-axis. You can clearly see that the boiling point of an alkane increases with the number of carbon atoms. If we mark on approximately room temperature, around 20 degrees on our graph, we can see that some alkanes will boil below room temperature and therefore be gases at room temperature, but that longer alkanes will boil above room temperature and therefore will be liquids or solids. The fact that the chain length of an alkane is directly related to its boiling point is really useful and it allows crude oil in order to be separated into individual alkane fractions using a process called fractional distillation. In this process, crude oil is separated into what is known as different fractions based on their boiling point. This diagram shows a fractional distillation column. In the bottom, crude oil is placed and a temperature gradient is set up, so the bottom of the column is hotter than the top. Different fractions of the crude oil then come out at different levels. We'll go into much more detail about the setup of a fractional distillation experiment in our video on that topic. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you are looking for an amazing GCSE chemistry resource, join me today in my series of engaging bite-sized video tutorials. Just click the stat revised smiley face and together let's make GCSE chemistry a walk in the park.